Hi, Bright Readers. Welcome to Read with Sunshine. And we are in a new place today. We are celebrating Thanksgiving. And today we're going to read a story called The Great Thanksgiving Escape about families. So let's get started. Read with Sunshine. Yay! The Great Thanksgiving Escape, written by Mark Fearing. It was another Thanksgiving at Grandma's. You can play in here with the rest of the kids, Gavin's mother told him. We'll call you when the turkey is ready. Have fun, Gavin's dad called. But Gavin knew it was not going to be fun. Not fun at all. Someone whispered. It was his cousin Rhonda. What do you say we break out of here and head for the swing set in the backyard? Uh, I'm supposed to stay here until turkey time, Gavin said. Rhonda climbed out from under the coats. The way I see it, Gav, she said, is that sometimes you have to make your own fun. Are you with me? She asked. Gavin nodded. I'm in. They crept out and headed for the front door. Suddenly, Rhonda jumped back. That way's blocked by vicious guard dogs. I think they've picked up our scent, she yelled. Run! But when they rounded the corner, Rhonda stopped dead in her tracks. It's the Hall of Aunts! We'll be pinched and smothered for sure, she cried. <laughs> Gavin trembled, remembering Christmas last year. He'd had to ice his face for three days. They took off, but it was too late. Rhonda had been grabbed. Luckily, she reacted defensively and managed to break free without a pinch. Chill! Quick, before another one comes in for a snuggle, yelled Rhonda as she bolted past. Head for the back door! Oh no, the great wall of butt! Rhonda yelled, It's certain death to get between them and the TV. Down here, said Rhonda. I bet there's a way through the basement. Gavin wasn't so sure. It looked dark and smelled like dirty socks and hair gel. They peeked cautiously around the corner. Rhonda screamed. They'll eat our brains as an appetizer. They raced back up the stairs to the kitchen. Just a little snack for the road, Gavin said. No, Rhonda yelled. It's a trap. She grabbed Gavin just before they were surrounded. They turned and sprinted for the door. We're almost there! But they skidded to a stop when they reached the glass. Well, at least we tried, Rhonda said. Gavin was quiet for a moment. Then he said, The way I see it, Rhonda, is that sometimes you have to make your own fun. Thanks for reading with us and go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can go on more reading adventures together. See you next time on Read with Sunshine.